So today we're going to go back. We um, were talking about uh, mortgages, right? And all aspects of mortgages. So we uh, have talked about reverse mortgages. We've talked about what P-I-T-I-H-O-A stands for. We talked about DTI and LTV. So if you don't have that information, um, please go back and listen to the discussions that we've had in the past, okay? So today, what I wanna focus on is uh, about refinancing your home. So what is a mortgage refinance and how can it be helpful? Well, when you refinance your mortgage, basically you're getting a new loan for your home and then the new loan pays off the old one and you're left with just one loan and one mortgage payment. So there are a number of reasons why people refinance their homes. You can use a refinance to get cash out um, and the equity that you have in your home. You can use a refinance to uh, better your interest rate or change the term on your loan. A refinance could even be used to remove another person's name from the mortgage. And you see that uh, typically when you're talking about divorce or maybe death. You may want to remove somebody from the mortgage. Okay, so there are two main types of refinances. Um, now when I talk about this, I really want to, uh, talk about it in conventional loans. And so when I say conventional loans, I mean non-government, like not VA, not FHA. And refinances work very similarly in government loans. It's just, they have a couple of more categories. Okay. So the types of refinances, the two main categories are a cash out refinance, um, and a rate term refinance, okay? And so a cash out refinance is when you use the equity in your home um, and pull some of that cash out and put that in your pocket for whatever you need, okay? And we'll talk more in depth next week uh, or in the coming weeks about a cash out refinance. But today I wanna focus on the other type of refinance, which is a rate term refinance, okay? So, a rate term refinance is used to change your rate or to change the terms of your mortgage loan, okay? So you may ask, well, why would someone wanna maybe change the terms of their mortgage loan? Well, if you remember, we had a conversation a few weeks ago, some people might be in an ARM. An ARM is an adjustable rate mortgage. And remember, I told you an ARM is only fixed for a certain amount of time. And many times, once that fixed period goes away, the arm is getting ready to, uh, the interest rate is getting ready to just fluctuate. So people will refinance out of that arm into maybe another arm or into a, a fixed rate loan. So that is changing the term of your loan. So you may do a rate term refinance to change that term. You don't want an arm anymore or you don't want that arm anymore and you wanna change to a different type of uh, interest rate, okay? Um, another reason why you may want to change uh, the term of your loan, you may be in a 30-year loan and you may want to go to a 15-year loan, okay? Or there are some cases where you may be in a 15 and you want to go to a 30. There's other loan terms. You can do a 10, a 20, a 25, a 15, a 30. Those are the typical ones that we talk about. Now remember, one thing people don't realize sometimes though, is if you're going from a 30 year term, meaning you're gonna pay the loan off in 30 years, if you go from a 30 year term to a 15 year term, depending on how much you owe and what your interest rate is, your payment may actually go higher, okay? Because you're paying it off in a shorter amount of time. And some people uh, get confused about that. They just Think about, oh, I want to pay it off sooner, but don't think about that it may take a, a higher payment to do that, okay? But of course, going from a 30-year term to a 15-year term, the benefit is you're paying off that mortgage sooner, okay? Now, um, again, one tip that I would like to give or one tip I would like to offer is if you are going to get a mortgage, I would suggest getting the 30-year term because it's a lower mortgage payment. Okay, so just like we just discussed, if you get a 25 year, a 20 year, a 15 year, the payment is gonna be higher, especially if it's a brand new mortgage. And even when you're refinancing, um, if you're going to a shorter term, the payment may be higher, all right? So I suggest the 30 year so that you can get the lowest payment that you can get. Because remember, if you get a 15 year mortgage, right, and you fall on some type of financial hardship, um, when you have to pay that mortgage back, you're gonna to have to pay back at that higher rate, right? 
But if you're in a 30 year mortgage, you want to already have the lower payment. And then if you choose to pay more on your mortgage, you can always do that, right? As long as times are good, you can always pay uh, more on the mortgage. But if you fall on hard times or maybe you have a job loss for a couple of months, you can just only have to pay that, uh, that lower 30 year term payment and still uh, be okay on your mortgage, okay? So that's why I would suggest getting the 30 year over the 15 year, all right? And then one other point about this part, um, we've uh, covered this in a prior segment, but it bears repeating. If you do make an extra mortgage payment, or you wanna pay your mortgage down more quickly, when you make that payment to your mortgage company, you need to tell them that the extra is to go to your principal, okay? Because if you don't tell them, more than likely they're gonna apply it to the interest, and then you're not paying your mortgage down quicker that way, all right? You have to tell them this extra $100 I'm paying or whatever it is, I want that to go to my principal, okay? And then another just really quick tip is, I don't know if you guys know, but if you make just one extra mortgage payment a year, that can shave off approximately seven to eight years on a 30 year mortgage, seven or eight years. So just imagine if you make two extra payments a year or three extra payments a year, okay? You get it? And that's that whole thing about paying off a 30-year mortgage more quickly, right? So if you wanted to pay it off more quickly, there's a couple of ways you could do that. Remember I talked to you before about the extra uh, payment, the extra paycheck people get who are paid uh, bi-weekly because you get 26 paychecks per year and twice a year you'll get a third paycheck instead of just two so what you could do is use the money from that extra paycheck to pay down your mortgage maybe it's enough to pay one extra mortgage payment or you know this happens twice a year so you take the um, the extra paycheck twice a year put those together and make your extra mortgage payment and then you like I said if you do that year after year you'll knock off uh, seven to eight years off your mortgage, okay? And then another way to make an extra mortgage payment is just to pay a little extra. So maybe you calculate, you know, what it's gonna take to make an extra payment. And so maybe that's just an extra $100 a month, right? So then you put that extra $100 a month with your regular mortgage, remembering to tell your mortgage company, I wanna put that extra $100 towards the principal and you will knock off seven to eight years off your mortgage, okay? So just a quick tip in our refinance discussion, okay? So we talked about why somebody would want to change the uh, term of their loan. Now, why would somebody want to change the rate? Well, that probably seems pretty obvious to you. In most cases, people want to change the rate because they want to get a lower rate, right? They want to get a lower rate so that they could get a lower payment. And so obviously, with a lower rate, you have a lower payment, right? Um, and so please note, with any refinance that you do, there are fees associated with it, right? But if you're doing a rate term refinance, many times you can just roll in the cost of the refinance into the loan so that you don't have very much out-of-pocket expense. And a refinance is going to cost you about uh, maybe 2 to 3% of your uh, loan amount, okay? So uh, you can, um, like always, do some homework. There's a company called LendingTree.com that you can go to, and I'm gonna put uh, that in the comments, LendingTree.com. You can go there and like shop for the best mortgage for you, okay? Um, and so it'll give you a lot of different companies. It'll tell you what the rates are. It'll tell you what the fees are so that you can make the best choice for you, okay? And then also um, in the comments, we're gonna put a few other links because um, just giving you basic information about a refinance, giving you basic information about what's going on in the market. So that's our discussion about refinances. Rate term refinances are what we talked about today. Next week, we're going to talk about cash out refinances. 